3D printing stuff for beer and home brewing at home. Nice. This is episode number two. I found some accessories for my cakes that I want to try out to print out. So with no further ado, let's just kick it. I'm Dr. Hans, this is Dr. Hans Brewery, my channel about beer and home brewing. So I found some really cool stuff and I will link down below to these models so you can print it out yourself. You have the printer here behind me and the printer I'm using is a um, Creality Ender 3 V2. You will find a lot of stuff I use here on my channel on my Amazon storefront. Link down below that including all filming stuff and all of that. 3D model is like a shell and that model will put into a slicing program and in that program we set all the parameters for, for the printer and then we slice it up into thin thin layers and those layers will be printed like plastic on top of each other until it's done. The parts I picked up is going to fit hopefully my Cornelius cakes. We will try them out to see how it works and all the models will also be linked down below if you want to try out to print this yourself. If you have any ideas what we should print please comment down below and if you have a 3D printer and have been printing stuff let us know what you have been printing and in your slicing programs you can scale your models and you can have a preview how your print will look inside and outside nice so now let's slice it up let's just print it Okay, here's the result. I did print some extra adhesive help here. You don't need to do that, but I found this really helps out. I found some other small tricks that helped me out printing. I can talk about that in another video if you're interested, let me know. And also, if you haven't already, I don't want to smash that like button and you will save a unicorn and it will give you great karma for the rest of the year. But for some reason, like over 90% of you, don't even care about the unicorns. So, save a unicorn, man. Don't be a dick. I haven't tried this out. If this sucks, it means that this video is gonna suck. And uh, yeah, I know my channel sucks, but it's not like this is a professional channel. There's a lot of better channels about beer and homebrewing, so maybe you shouldn't subscribe to my channel. Instead, go and subscribe to someone else. Let's just try it out. First, to start with the simple stuff first. This is two like port covers. We'll just pull this extra material off. I don't know how this will work, if this was the right materials. I'm printing with a material called PLA, the materials that most people print with, get started with. This is supposed to protect your post. Here's how it looks. It has a little cup here. And I don't know if this will work. Will it snap? Is this the right material? I haven't the slightest. Let's try it. So I'm guessing that should sit like that. And then we should just bend this. Okay, we have a little protector there. Let's try the other side. Put it on there, bend it over itself. And, and they're snug there. That's not too bad at all. If you have a teaser like I have here, there's a lot of moisture in that teaser and there can be a lot of like even mold growing on top of uh, your kegs. So that's not bad. And for traveling and stuff. Nice. So we found links down to those below. And you can of course print in any color reason why I printed this in red was to give a little contrast for the time lapse. Also, that's why you see I printed some red parts here. Some of these parts are like upgrades and functional and some of the parts here are just for looks. Okay, so that worked out great. Let's try the, the other one. These are the same but they are in two different sizes. I have another keg also we could try it with. Two different sizes. Nice. So I've seen a lot of soda stream holders for your keg, but this was the first time I saw this one, and this is the simplest one. 
So if this works, I think this is a really cool idea. I'm gonna try with a small one first. This will fit on top of your soda stream bottle and then you will twist it and that goes nowhere. And then you will put the regulator back on and we should now be able to just hang this here. Look at that. And of course, you should be able to attach this one on top there. Nice. Okay, this worked out great. Should we try the longer one? But this is of course an open style cake. What does that mean with that? Yeah, it's open here. I have a closed one here. We can try that out also. But first, let's try out the the long one. So we put that over there, twist it. We can put the, I'm just gonna fake it now. Put that top of there. Nice, let's try it with the other cake. I have the closed cake here. You see the difference here that it's closed. And I don't think this will work. This will not work as easy. You have to take everything apart then it should work without no problems. Get this on there, get the soda stream back. So this is not as good, but it still works. Speaking of cakes, this is how I prepare my cakes for beer to get the best shelf life as possible. And if you have seen that video already, why don't you check out this video or try to hit any of these two buttons down below. Cheers, see you in the next one, Dr. Hans out.